In this video, we talk to the one and only Clint Riley. Duly noted. How did you originally get involved with Artland? Like, how did how did your first audition go? How did you find out about it? I don't know if I can share this. Well, I'll share it anyway. If I get into <laughs> trouble, then then uh, <laughs> then I'll get into trouble. Uh, <laughs> I have to have a drink of coffee first before I take the chance. Um, <laughs> I had learned that Heartland was auditioning for a, a guy named Clint Riley. And um, the character description of the actor that they would like to look for, for this particular role, was uh, a man in his 30s, um, six foot two, <laughs> and 300 pounds. Oh, wow. And uh, and I was like uh, five foot eight and not tall, uh, and I was way old for the part. Um, I think I was in my fifties. So you're the and, opposite uh, of John Johnston, where he was like younger for the role, and they weren't really sure if he was too young. But yeah, but see, I asked if I could read for this role because um, I had an idea about Clint. Oh, um, wow. Well, like he seemed a bit awkward on the ranch. And I think that they, they, the original idea might have been um, just my interpretation, someone who was inexperienced in their job and, and off kilter. Uh, okay. And I had thought, well, what if, what if you took someone who is experienced in his job exactly. and really knows what he's doing, yep. but only in the city? And then you put him on a ranch and that's enough to set them off balance right uh, that idea. might be you know there might be some comedy involved in that yeah um, and it might be a, a stronger choice um for me anyway so i asked if i could read for the role and i read for it and i got it so um went along those lines and that's Character that's so of, realistic it's so realistic i've met so many social workers just through work and personally and it, you you actually are you, it's so realistic the way you, you portray the role. It's really, really good. Uh, what I do is I embellish it a bit. I make up my own little story about the character so that I can play him with detail and yeah. colors and make him a full character to play. So my idea of Clint has always been, and this isn't, well, producers don't know this and the writers don't know this. It's just my <laughs> little thing that I do. And uh, they'll write something that'll contradict it. You know, But uh, I've always thought that Clint, was uh, is an ex-cop, and uh, he decided he didn't want to carry a gun anymore. Oh, so man. he became a social worker. Is what is it like working with Amber Marshall? I always, I, yeah, I have a lot of scenes with Amber. Um, a lot of my scenes, our our characters. Oh, yeah, she's she is around. Our relationship has grown. Yeah. Um, uh, where it's uh, it's less of a business relationship. Yeah. It's, it's not now we're friends. Um, Amber's great. Uh, Amber, Amber's terrific. What's interesting about working on the show for 15 years is that everybody gets older, including yeah. me. But but to see well, you look exactly the same. I mean, I was watching from season one and taking pictures, you know, for the interview, and I can't believe how little you've changed. It's amazing. Well, you're you're being kind. There's about 30 more pounds to me now. Uh, I'm I'm quite heavy. The camera yeah. doesn't show it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're being you're being nice to me again, but uh, no, he's gained a lot of weight. I asked if I could. Um, I think it was the season before last. Uh, I asked if I could grow a goatee, just so I could show some gray hair and show that Clint is getting older. Uh, working with Amber is great. Uh, and Sean, everybody. Um, the one thing they're really good at um, is uh, their professionalism. And uh, in particular, the way they make new actors feel comfortable on set, you know. Um, Has Chris Potter ever directed any episodes that you've been in? Yeah, yeah. I know, uh, I have had one or two scenes with Chris, but I know him actually more as a director, I suppose now, than an actor um he's a great guy to talk to we will just be yapping on set <laughs> would you uh, say he's your best friend on the set no i wouldn't say that 
He's one of my best friends on the set. Uh, my best friend on the set is the crew. Uh, and, that, and, that's, and that's true with every project that I work on. Um, but with this show in particular, it's not only the crew. Um, they work, they're the first ones there, the last ones to leave. And they, uh, they work very, very hard to make everyone, to help people. Uh, particularly actors who haven't been there in a while. Um, but with this show in particular, it's everybody. It's everybody. And I'm not just saying that. It's it's the uh, people in the production office. It's the wardrobe. It's makeup. It's hair. It's uh, the other actors on set, of course. Um, um, but the crew is sort of the bedrock of it. That would be a neat uh, storyline for Clint if they had him actually like riding or having something to do with one of the horses. I actually said that and I sort of want to take it back. But uh, <laughs> I thought, well, it might be funny if Clint took riding lessons. Um, I just don't think he's very comfortable around horses. Um, he's not comfortable around comfortable around the dog that runs around. You know, <laughs> he's, a city, he's a city guy. He, right. Um, that, that's the way I see him. Any chance to eat peanuts in those muffins, brother? Oh no, we um we don't serve peanuts to our guests in case of allergies. Right, right. I read that in the pamphlet. <clears throat> right, tasted something nutty in that last bite, though. Trace amounts, they don't bother me. <laughs> I think I'm having a severe reaction. Oh my God! Uh, here, Clint. <clears throat> I mean, you, I think you're a very big character on the show. I think people that are, are big fans realize what a big character Clint Riley is on the show. I mean, you're, you've been there since season one and, you were, and now you've been on season 15. It's just amazing. And actually, one of the funniest people on set uh, behind the camera is Amber. Really? Uh, yeah, she makes me she makes me laugh. Oh, wow. I never expected that. I guess in the past few seasons, they've actually shown him doing his job yep, uh yep. more of his job um which is exciting uh i kind of like that um so is that one of the things you want for season 16 that you're looking forward to if it was like a dream uh episode or project would it be that clinton riley you know now becomes involved with the horses somehow it's um i think it might be better for clint to remain a city guy um, who happens to be uh, in a, on a ranch. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I think there's a lot of value in that. And I think it gives a whole different, uh, uh, it adds another color to- To the show, to, for sure. To, to the painting of horses and fields and cowboy hats. And then there's- Yeah, <laughs> it's, um, it's such an unusual <laughs> show. It's such an unusual show. I don't, there's just nothing else out there like Heartland. Um, you know, it's not just a show, it's a phenomenon. It's just amazing. Well, it's family friendly. Yes. And uh, um, people do seem to enjoy it. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, they're a great bunch of people to work with. And, and can you tell us a little bit more about season 15 for us down here in the States? I know there's a wedding involved somehow because Drew sort of slipped on that. <laughs> season 15? Yes. I, you know what? I get into trouble if I do that. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what... Uh, has been released in the states, and I don't want to give any give away. No, any I don't blame you. No, I don't blame you. We're just uh, looking forward to seeing this season fifteen. I've heard such good things about it. It's gotten excellent reviews. People were sad. Season fourteen was sort of a sad season, you know, since Graham left. But I think they've gotten over that now, and everyone's yeah. looking forward to seeing the new characters and the. So the you, lines. you haven't seen six, any of season sixteen or fifteen? No, I haven't. Oh. <laughs> well, you're, you're, no, you're in for a treat. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're all looking forward to it down here a lot. So. That's what kind of amazes me is that it has kind of a widespread appeal. Oh, uh, huge appeal, especially in not other just countries. the United States, but overseas. And, yes. Um, it's becoming bigger and bigger in Mexico, um, Brazil, and uh, France. It's becoming a very, a very big show in all three of those countries. It's very real, but it's funny and it, it's got emotion and humor. It's it's, it's really you, you just you just don't find shows like that. That's a funny little thing. Um, and sometimes they don't write that in the episode. But I know that Heather, she's the big boss. Um, 
she likes it when I ad lib it in. So I always, every episode, now I'm getting back into it. Every episode, I try to find a place to. To put duly noted? Oh, that's awesome. If people really relate to that. Duly noted. Uh, there's some episodes it doesn't say it, but sometimes it's a surprise. And then, okay, here's a spoiler for Yay, thank you. season 15. <laughs> um, uh, they, uh, they actually started writing it in again. Awesome. Yes. Duly noted. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you said it too. <laughs> there's, a, there's a spoiler for you. <laughs> It's not as big as Drew slip up with a wedding, but that, that it's pretty good. So thank you. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, you're not getting any info from me. <laughs> I'm an old pro. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Thank I you looked on I looked on the list of questions and it said, "Oh, what do you think about season 16? And I went, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm too clever for that." <laughs> oh, I'm not crossed. worried about it. I'm not worried about it. It's the best show out there. I think people are starting to realize that more and more. So that's well, awesome. Thank you. thank you very much for your time, Greg. Thank you for asking me. It's been a delight. All right. Well, I'll put that in my report. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more great videos all about Heartland. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.